there are several rules that we need to consider when we're working with probability. The first one would be any probability is a number between 0 and 1. So every time you work with a probability problem, your answer will be of values from 0 to 1 because any proportion is always between 0 and 1 in probability. And the second probability rule is that sum of all probabilities of all possible outcome is equal to 1. An example of which is rolling a die. When we need to find the probability of getting a 1, a 2, a 3, a 4, a 5, or a 6, using probability rule, we're going to add all the possible probabilities of this particular event, and it's going to be equal to 6 out of 6, which is equal to 1. And this is our second probability rule. And the third probability rule is that the probability that an event does not occur is 1 minus the probability that the event does occur. Using this notation, we call this a complement in probability. And an example of which, let's say that the probability of you getting a grade of A in a statistics class is 30%. Therefore, the probability that you're not getting an A in a statistics class will be 70%. 70% will be your complement for this probability. Now, there are two types of events in uh, probability. We're going to be working on independent events for addition and multiplication. Now, for problems of independent events, it means that the second event is not dependent for, from your first event. So we'll deal with two events in this particular example. We'll start with the addition rule of independent events given by the formula P of A or B is equal to P, P of A plus P of B. So take note of the word or and that will be your keyword when answering um, probability problems of independent events for addition. So in this example we are rolling two dice and we are asked to find the probability of getting a sum of 3 or the probability of getting a sum of 5 when we roll a die twice. Now in this case, P of A or B using the formula is basically getting the probability of the first event, which is the sum of 3, which, is, which gives us 2 out of 36, and the probability of the second event, which is B, which gives us 4 out of 36. And since this is an indep independent event, we can simply add the two events together to find the answer for this probability problem. So 6 out of 36, which is equal to 17%, will be your probability of getting a sum of 3 or getting a sum of 5 when you roll a die twice. Now, in a multiplication problem using independent events, we have this notation for our formula, P of A and B is equal to P of A times P of B. So take note that you need to have an independent experiment to be able to use this formula. So in this example, we are rolling a die, and we're supposed to find the probability of getting a 4 and then another 4 when you roll a die twice. So on your first roll, it's a 4, and on your second roll, it's also 4. And computing for this probability, since um, the, first, the second roll is not dependent on from the first roll, 1 out of 6 times 1 over, out of 6 using the for, formula will give us 1 out of 36, which is 2.8%. So the probability of this event happening is 2.8%, given that our event is independent. Now, what's the difference between an independent event and a dependent event? An independent event, by definition, is that event A is not affected by event, event B. For example, we are tossing a coin, and when we toss a coin, the second toss is not going to be dependent from the first toss. Therefore, when you toss a coin twice, the outcome of getting heads or tails is the same as on the first toss and the second toss, which is 50%. So this is an independent event because the second event is not dependent from your first event. Now on the event wherein it's dependent, let's say an event A is affected by event B, then we are going to create a different rule in answering problem like this one. So let's say I have five red marbles and two blue marbles in a jar and we're supposed to uh, find the probability that when we first pick um, the marble in the jar it's going to be red and when we pick another marble 
in the same jar, it's going to be another red. Make sure that you take note of this restriction. It's without replacement, which means when you pick your first marble from the jar, you're not going to return it um, in the jar to pick another red marble. And in this case, this is a dependent event because the sample space is going to change if you're not replacing the marble in the jar. So your first pick will be 5 out of 7 because there are 5 red marbles in the jar of 7 marbles. And for your second pick, given that you already picked 1 um, red marble, you'll have 4 out of 6 for your um, probability. So in this case, this is a dependent event because your second pick is dependent from your first pick. Now I'm going to use the same example of five red marbles and two blue marbles inside the jar, but I'm going to show you the difference between independent and dependent event the way they worded out the questions. So for this example, this is going to be a dependent event because we are going to have our experiment without replacement. So for your first red marble, it's going to be five out of seven. And for your second red marble, it's going to be four out of six for those events because you are not replacing the marble or any marble that you pick from your first try. So this one is a dependent event because you are picking the red marble without replacement. Now, if in the rule it states that in picking the marble, it's with replacement. That means when you pick the first marble, you have to replace or you have to return the marble that you picked in the jar to um, get your event B. Then that will be an independent event because the sample space is not changing. So it's still going to be 7 every time you pick. So for the first red marble, the probability of that happening is 5 out of 7. But on the second pick, which is getting the second red, it's still not going to change because you are returning your marble inside a jar. So it's still 5 out of 7. So this is an independent event.